Hello, internet. Well, um, I was not expecting this. Um, seven years on YouTube. Absolutely phenomenal achievement. Um, I never would have thought I would have actually made it to seven years on YouTube. Like, if you had asked me back in 2009 when I created Spacey3688 on off the back of my 12 year old friend not being able to write the letter T um, I would have just never believed you that I would have continued creating um, high quality videos at a fairly regular upload level a fairly regular frequency even um, seven years later it's just absolutely incredible so to celebrate this I'm going to do another one of these um, talking videos whereby I discuss YouTube and the YouTube community and how the YouTube community and YouTube itself has evolved and progressed and regressed but progressed more um, over the last seven years and particularly I will be focusing on how the YouTube community has evolved over the last seven years since I created my four years on YouTube video. Um, so if you haven't already watched my four years on YouTube video, I suggest that you do, um, as you'll probably in as you'll probably. Um, have more of an understanding about what I'm talking about. Um, so this is going to be the end of this segment and we're going to go on to the next segment now. I forgot to mention, there's going to be some um, annotations and um, there's going to be some annotations coming on screen and if you click on those, you'll be able to click on what section you want to go on. You want to. Go. Anyway, so in this first section, I'm going to talk about what, um, how my YouTube channel has progressed over the last seven years. So, in total, here's here's just here's some numbers for you. The total amount of review reviews I have I have accumulated over the last seven years is four thousand seven hundred and ninety five, which is quite an insane number. That's six hundred and thirty five views a year, which is quite incredible, really. Um considering how I started back in two thousand nine, um on an eMac and using my dad's Sony Handycam camcorder, which I used to call my standy Handycam. Don't ask. I was twelve. Um. <laughs> anyway, um, it's just it's just phenomenal that I've managed to um, accumulate this number of views in a fairly short period of time. Um, I I I I wasn't really expecting to get this many views I was kind of thinking maybe I'll go for maybe 4,000 back back in back in because I'm at nearly 5,000 views and back um, back in 2013 when I created the um, four years on YouTube anniversary video, I was nearing, um, I was nearing 4,000 views and I'm now nearing 5,000 but my views weren't progressing at a very constant rate so I was thinking it would be nice to maybe hit 4,700, 800 in, in the next um, four years so to get down to almost almost fuck it sounds almost 5000 is just absolutely incredible and i'm really 
um, pleased that I've managed to attain this, this many views. It's phenomenal. Um, I've also managed to upload 55 videos um, and uh, I'm, I'm 61 in total if you include the four that are unlisted and the two that are private. Yes, okay, fine. And that is, and, and 55 uploads, that's approximately eight videos a year. So that's round about, that's round about ooh, um, one video every three months, which I think is fairly consistent if I'm being completely honest because six videos, eight videos a year, um, and there's um, 12 months in a year, that's that that's essentially one video every three months which which I, I, I think certainly considering all the things that I've had to also deal with personally as well as creating YouTube videos such as exams and school and personal issues like family and friends to get um, to get one video in every three months for seven years that's incredibly consistent in my mind and I'm very proud that I have accomplished that. Also I've managed to amass a grand total of 30 subscribers and although a fair few a fair few of them are probably inactive now it, it's still very heartwarming to know that um, there's 30 people who want to watch my videos regularly and that's that's really really um, inspiring and continue and it, it motivates me to make more content and that's really that's really inspiring and positive I'd also like to talk about just how much um, the YouTube community has grown exponentially over the last seven years. So, over the last seven years, over the last three years. So, when I spoke to you guys back in 2013, I went and spoke about how PewDiePie had amassed 13 million subscribers, which in my mind is which at the time in 2013 was absolutely enormous and huge and um, now in 2016 exactly three years later he has amassed 45 million subscribers and 13 billion views and the reason why I'm saying this is not so that I think PewDiePie is bad or I think he's too powerful. Um, I'm not trying to say that. I feel it just shows how much of a force to be reckoned with these YouTubers have become. Because 13 billion views essentially means that every single person on planet Earth has... Um, viewed a PewDiePie video at least twice which is absolutely mind-blowing and that also shows the power of new media because you could never get that sort of viewership in um, traditional media such as television or radio or even newspapers um, not newspapers or films like it's 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 and and that just shows like if you had a TV if you had a TV program that was getting certainly TV programs in the UK the most viewed TV program last year was the Great British Bake Off which had a grand total of fifteen million now if you could get a TV program that could reach I don't know a billion viewers on a worldwide audience now I know that's a bit of an exaggeration but that would be enormous.
enormous. And to think that you can view and to think that just one Swedish guy in his bedroom can be viewed by everyone on the planet twice is absolutely enormous. And it was, and in 2009, that would be unimaginable to the vast amount of YouTubers, myself included. And coming on from that, and talking of PewDiePie and how um, and how much of a force to be reckoned with these YouTubers have become, I'm also going to discuss how difficult it is to get noticed on YouTube. Um, so, because, and also, I went and mentioned back in 2013 about how YouTube and the YouTube community needs to regain its sense of community such as having people going sub for sub and having an actual human post videos on the front page and um, how how it was becoming incredibly difficult for very popular YouTubers to get the views and subscribers that they've deserved that they deserve and unfortunately rather than trying to nurture a sense of community and the sense of community that there was that there once was in YouTube I think YouTube has gone in the opposite direction using initiatives such as YouTube Red which thankfully hasn't become that popular but is essentially um, essentially it's paying for YouTube videos and thankfully many um, thankfully many YouTubers just haven't used the use YouTube Red because they know it's it won't it won't get the views they can demand because nobody will pay for YouTube videos um, when you can watch we can watch fantastic content for free and another concept um, not, not well it's not really a concept it's more of a project that YouTube has announced is called YouTube Heroes and that's only just been announced within the next um, within the last couple of days actually and it essentially essentially gives points to people for doing positive things in YouTube community and one of these positive things includes flagging people's videos um, in order to gain hero points or something like that and both of these things just seek to break up the YouTube community and make it more difficult for smaller newer YouTubers to become popular and more established and I think I think if there's something that YouTube can be doing it's to try and regain that sense of community um, and that will overall try to try to make YouTube a more positive positive um, environment for new content creators um, okay so this is going to be another segment it's going to be about the quality of so this new segment so, th so this segment is going to be about the quality of YouTube videos and the quality of the creators um, and how that's progressed over the last three years and that's progressed hugely over the last three years um, and uh, and the quality of the YouTube videos um, has just progressed enormously where to, to the point where people um, actually hire teams a point where YouTube channels actually hire teams of people to create um, YouTube videos and they run it like businesses which which coming from somebody who in 2009 was just making videos in his not even my bedroom my parents bedroom <laughs> um, which is a bit weird um, using a using a um, using a seven or eight year old emac is just incredible 
and the fact that people are using YouTubers as, as and people running YouTubers as YouTube channels as businesses, I think is is actually really really good because this this creates jobs for people, which is good, and I think it also tries to help reinforce YouTube as a as a like a very powerful new media platform that is a force to be reckoned with if it wasn't already um and that's incredibly um positive and one of the things about the quality of youtubers and and you well, the quality of youtubers and youtube videos and youtube channels improving is that it can also be a slightly negative thing in the sense that it can stop um, YouTubers who perhaps don't have the finances or the resources as the bigger YouTubers to compete. But having said that, the YouTube community is starting to respond to um, a lot more kind of smaller and more niche YouTubers who don't, well, not not smaller, but YouTubers that don't have the resources as a lot of the, a lot of the, um, high tech and innovative YouTube channels. One of these YouTube channels is Grey Day Under A, who, um, who creates videos um, using his Samsung Galaxy, um, using Samsung Galaxy Two. And, and and just creates um, videos using Windows Live Movie Maker and Microsoft Paint. So that's like really, really old school. And yet he's managed to amass, he's managed to amass over 2 million subscribers, which is absolutely huge. And it really kind of seeks to undermine the, uh, undermine the kind of myth in YouTube that you need to have a really good camera and a really good um, computer and editing software in order to create high quality videos and I, I think that's really really inspiring because that helps to get more and more people involved in the YouTube community which as we all know can only be a good thing because the more people involved it creates more creators, it creates more subscribers, it creates more viewers and I think that's just really, really inspiring. Um, last of all, I know it was a bit of a um, unscripted. <laughs> Actually, it's it's not unscripted. It's completely unscripted. There's no script. There was no plan. This is just a complete um, speech gasm. Just me um, talking at you for. 15 minutes or however long the video is um, but I just like to say a big thank you to everyone who has supported me and pushed me and encouraged me to create YouTube videos it's, it's been it's been an awesome three years and I sincerely hope that I can continue doing it for as long as possible or or at least until YouTube stops becoming a thing and everyone migrates over to Vimeo. That's that's a that's a fairly pessimistic prediction for you all. <laughs> anyway, anyway, thank you all. Thank thank you everyone who's viewed it, who's viewed my channel and subscribed and shared it and all that stuff. Um, this is basically 3688 signing off and I'll see you sometime in the future.